Okay, uh, welcome back to uh, the final part of our run-through tale of Vaniera. Um, I say the final part, although this video will probably be split over three or four videos um, so that it doesn't go too long for YouTube, um, as this level is going to take a significant period of time. This is Retribution, the final level of Tale of Vaniera, and I'm Unwise Owl, the campaign maintainer. Uh, we are the elves in the far north of this map. In the south, we have the evil Lavinian Emperor. Misunderstood, I don't know. Uh, and his two cronies, one on each side of the river. And then we have a great big forest, and us. We maintain Athos, uh, from, who we rescued two levels ago. The hero of old, who we uh, got on our side uh, one level ago. Uh, and of course Phelan, uh, who we met earlier. And uh, we're going to first attempt to secure as many of these villages as we can and secure our income. And then we're going to uh, basically uh, hang out in the forest and wait for the Lavinians to exhaust all their troops. It's going to take a long while. And in the course of that, we're going to try not to lose too many guys, which will be the challenge. You may finally see me using the save load feature um, because I'm this level is pretty hard. Or at least it's it's got its moments of it, things that are pretty hard. First thing... That's a bug. I fixed that bug. Okay. No, I did not fix that bug. One second. Yeah, reloading uh, versions, reloading across versions, a little bit of a challenge. But uh, yep, we're gonna fight the emperor. Um, I actually renamed between these versions, renamed Lemidian horsemen to be Lemidian cavalry. Um, that's enough to mean the enemy can't recruit them, so I'll have to... F thought I'd fix that bug. Um, possibly not before I made the save file, so we'll just see what happens if we, if we try this all again. Um, so the Forefathers uh, have got pretty good movement, almost as good as the Wanderers, um, and they've got excellent resistances, um, and they the best thing about them that we're going to use on this level. Um, we're going to be pretty much spamming them. Yeah, the best thing about them is that they don't care about um, about the river. They have excellent defense on the rivers. So that means that um, you know they can just float across that and they can fight enemies who generally are very weak in the water. There you go. There's a Namidian cavalryman. Welcome to the game, guys. Okay, so we're going to try and eliminate that green leader as soon as we can and work up a mass of forces in his fort to get across the river. Can't quite get to that village. Yeah, so these guys, all these fast guys over here, they're going to head down the left, get as many villages as they can, and we're going to build with the rest of our troops a bit of a bulwark in these southern forests. And we're going to use the fact that we've leveled all these rain dancers into enormous tank units to pretty much destroy an entire legion. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, if everything goes to plan. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're going to probably waste a lot of time trying to grab all these villages. Um, I've been thinking of getting around to make them uh, sort of auto um, auto get on the side of the, the Lavinians before we start, but um, we, haven't got, we haven't really got around to that yet, but that would speed up this beginning a little bit more and make it harder to get the good points in the forest, so I'm probably going to do that at some point, but for now you get the general idea. Um, so we're pretty good in the forest. We really significantly outmatch the Lavinians in the forest because, of course, they're terrible in the trees. Um, but um, it's uh, there's a significant area of open land in the south of this map, which makes it very difficult for the seed to get out in there because they're so fragile. Okay. So we've got a bunch of rain dancer type units here. They're going to deal the damage. We've got a couple of auxiliar types, or well, we've got Athos and one auxiliar type. We'll grab a couple more in a little bit. 
um, their job is going to be just basically to hold the fort when it's daytime and lose their lives so that the real units don't have to. Um, and of course we have Phaelon who is just a god, essentially. He's, he's, he's alright. Still can't quite reach any of those villages. That's just annoying. Um, we did place these villages quite strategically, so that we're just going to be a little bit annoying to grab. Um, the good thing about Auxilla, of course, is that they, they don't take any upkeep, so I can pump out as many as I want here in a situation where I'm going to have economic problems and every little piece of gold is going to bother me in a little while. Um, I'm probably going to end up pumping quite a number of Auxilla, even though they're not that good. Um, we're going to see our enemies no, don't have that much of an economic problem. They've got plenty of gold, and they're going to use it to recruit plenty of dudes. You can see the, uh, the Emperor there is recruiting level 2 guys. Oh! We have some lightning, but not all of it. Okay, well, hey, that's a start. I've missed that lightning. You can see that that archer really, really didn't stand a chance against Phelan in the forest there, even though that archer is on an open spot. He, he got hit pretty hard because uh, magical attacks don't care where you're standing. They're just going to hurt you. It's not like they got a 100% chance to hit or anything, but it's it's a heck of a lot better than... Uh, heck of a lot better than the... 40% chance they have to hit um, normally. Okay, so who are we going to give the experience to here? If possible, feed that auxilla. No, we can't get there. Okay. Well, Phelan doesn't need it, so... Ooh, we can give it to Athos. Yeah. We don't want to get Athos killed, because as soon as he is, we can't recruit um, auxilla. So we're going to stick Phelan here to protect him. Um, yeah, we, we don't want to see him killed, but uh, in order to facilitate that, we sort of want to get him upper levels. Um, we want to move as fast as we can here so that uh, um, when night time comes, we can really deal damage to some of these green guys before the pink and blue ones come up to give him a hand because they got to take a while to ford the river. While those green guys aren't dealing masses of damage with their shields, we really want to hit them hard. So we'll find out if we've got enough experience into these rain dancers to, you know, uh, to win this level. And this is going to be a reasonably long stay, so I'll try and cut this one at about 20 minutes or so, and then we'll um, we'll probably split this into I would imagine four or five videos. Um, so we're going to be we're going to be playing this level for a little while. Uh, just as well, because I don't have all day to sit down and play this at the moment, so we're just going to take part, and then I'll I'll take a bit of a break as well. So, differences in, um, in this and the last version. Well, there's a bunch of uh, different options here on the mini-map, and so I can change whether or not I can see the villages on the map, and uh, whether or not I can see the people on the map, and whether or not I can see the... Uh, two oh, oh, look, we can zoom. That's That's interesting. That's actually really handy um, for watching the enemy moves, at least. Um, you can also turn off the terrain, and uh, you can see allied and enemy units. You can see we've got a lot of enemy units there, and oh, terrain types as well. Yeah, yeah, we might take it off of that view because that's just a little bit awkward. All right, so. 
So far, these legionaries haven't had that much luck against us. We'd like that to continue. So, I'm going to grab some ghosts and see if we can't kill ourselves off some legendaries. So the ghosts have impact attack um, which as their damage type, which is wonderful because um, the legionaries have quite good resistance against the blade and, and pierce damage that the, the other units that we have do. Um, so we're going to be using that impact attack to um, do, do quite a lot of damage to them. Uh, it will be very useful indeed, um, up and above the excellent resistances that the ghosts have themselves. The Lividians, um their only real answer to ghosts is their archers, and um, hopefully we'll be able to keep our ghosts away from their archers just a little bit. Okay, so they got this here. Okay, they've left this guy out here by himself to die, so we're going to oblige them. I'd really like to get a kill with a warrior, um, because we're going to be using a bunch of auxilla here, I'd really like to get a unit with leadership, um, also because I just haven't shown you guys leadership, but I'm, I'm sure that a number of you that are playing here are familiar with the game, so um, if we can get a little bit of experience into that warrior, we're going to be looking happy. kind of want to make a break for that village, but I think I'll be in trouble if I try it, so we're just going to set up a little bit of a perimeter, try and taunt these guys into the forest. Now Vaniera, I was going to bring him out here, but I don't think he's going to get much of a chance to fight, so I will actually just drop him back so that we have him there to recruit if we need to. Not that we're going to be drowning in mountains of gold anytime soon. We currently have six gold and uh, seven um, each year, so we'll get those auxilla out there. And we could go after that guy, but I don't think it's probably going to be worthwhile. So we'll see if we can trick him into coming into the forest to fight us, because the AI is dumb. Oh, I really like this zoom, guys. Uh, Where's North Developers? Well done. Well played. That's, that's really great. Wow, there's a really high level of caution here. I feel like maybe the AI's actually been changed. Normally you'd see those green guys really leap right into the forest there. Um, but they're doing the right thing and waiting for their allies. That's going to make this level tough. Um, we only had 36 turns to clear this level. You can see we've used, we used five of them already, so that'd be painful. Hmm, forgot to move him last turn. That was, that was dumb. Oh well. 12-5, and it's not even like the top level, it can go better than that. Don't fight rain dancers in the day. Just just don't do it. So we're just gonna build ourselves a little bit of a bulwark in these forests, let the enemy come to us, and then we're going to hurt him. Might as well just drop this warrior out here, let him deal some damage just because he can. I don't really like these, uh, you see uh, previously when uh, things had exhausted their movements, they used to go uh, used to go red, now they go black. I'm actually struggling a little bit to tell when I've used my units or if something strange has happened to them. I'm sure I'll get used to it though. Every new version of Bresnoth brings something new to the table. Um, hmm. um, so these uh, javelins, javelineers, wanderers, 
have um, pierce damage, which is excellent against cavalry. Most types of cavalry in Wesnoth are um, are quite weak against cavalry uh, against against pierce damage. Come on, ghosty, hit him! Yeah, damn it! All right. It's annoying to leave a cavalryman just alive because he has a charge attack that can really, really do a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, we're alright with that for now, I think. Do we want another Oxilla? No, we might save for something decent. We've got a few out there already. Yeah, no harm in grabbing another one. Um, particularly useful because they deal a reasonable amount of damage up front, and when we're facing a bunch of archers, that's going to be handy because archers can't fight back, suckers! Those blue guys still trying to get across the river. There's really not that many crossing points. Yeah, see, the legionaries have realized they don't want to fight uh, against the seed in the daytime. Ha! Huh. Okay, green leader is out. We might... We might be able to kill him. Um, you don't normally see him come out that far, but the, in the hope of killing uh, some of our guys, he's done so. That'll be interesting. Do the damage into my tempest there. Not enough damage that that archer feels safe going up against it though. Not in the middle of the night. Ah, uh, those pink guys have put themselves in a good position where I probably can't get at that. Uh, get at the green leader. It's a bit disappointing. And we are getting towards the end of the night anyway, so I'm going to want to be looking to move back into a bit of a safer position come the dawn, which is now. You can hear the rooster. Yes, I am doing this one with noise. Um, just playing out of, the, out of the computer and straight into the microphone. No fancy solutions for us here, but uh, yeah, something. So we're just going to try and bait these legionaries into places where they're just not going to be very strong against my massed, massed lightning attacks. Yeah, well, we've got to kill that guy, don't we? Um, we can't let him get away with this. We might be sacrificing him. It's not really worth sacrificing your size so a ghost to kill a cavalryman. So if we go out there, we're going to have to go out there with some force to protect a ghost. Oh, nice work. Anyone else coming across the river? Yes. Yeah, we're not we're not we're not winning that fight. Yep, it's getting towards the daytime. Those guys are going to be absolutely devastating. Those level 2 units are going to be mean. So yeah, this level's really... Um, well, this feels like a seed level, you know? Like some of the others, we've really just been warm-ups. This is a level where you really got to take your time, use your time of day, fall back. Um, this is a real seed level, and uh, it'll show you how, it, how you're really supposed to kind of do it. Hopefully, I'll show you how you kind of do it. I'm supposed to do it, but we'll just see if I can actually pull that off, but there's this real sort of sense of tactics with the seed, it's like, you know, in a fair fight, or if I fight against a human, you're not going to win just you straight up against them, you really got to um, sort of play the numbers, use the terrain, and not let them get around you like that. Ouch.
So once again, this is where the auxilla are going to come into their own in that they are neutral, so they don't care about time of day, whereas my seed are getting really weak at this point. We're just going to want to pull as many of the seed back as we can think we can get away with um, and use the auxilla to plug the gaps. That said, where we can kill off enemy units, we want to be killing off enemy units. Nice. All right. This is a sacrifice and auxilla for that enemy Lavinian there. That's it. Okay. Now he can get away. Excellent. We put Phelan in there. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, all right. Good work, Athos. Free damage, why not, huh? I think it's probably the same way I feel about this bit. It's like, it's... There's not good numbers there. We're not going to win, but when you get free damage, it's hard to turn down. Amazing resistances on those archers. One day I've got to look at that. Well, actually, I'm in the process of looking at that. There's a proposed solution in the dev version at the moment. Um, one of the things we've got in this latest version of, of Wesnoth is an actual separate development version where um, some of the proposed changes are put rather than just shoving them straight into the game and breaking all the campaigns. But, uh, yeah, that gives us a chance to have a bit of a play, which is nice. Yeah, we're just going to run. If that guy gets himself killed, he gets himself killed, but <laughs> he's a ghost. If he gets himself removed from the game, he gets himself removed from the game, but uh, I'm not going to sacrifice more guys to keep him safe. It's about everything I can do, I think. Bring Danny Arrow back out. Just in case. Because this is going to be that second daytime turn, the one that really decides you know how we're gonna get through this yep that's a dead ghost don't normally see so many blue guys go down the left there so that strategy of sending a few scout troops out that way um, probably counting against me there but hey, every every turn that my uh, auxilla stay alive, <laughs> he says, as his auxilla dies, is a turn they're not attacking the units I care about, so we'll take them. And hey, any turn that they're going to hit but not kill that guy I want to turn into a captain is, um, is even better. Oh, sorry, a herald. I call it heralds in the seed. But there, it's an elvish captain. It's an elvish captain without a bow. can see the lack of zone of control working against that those auxilla all across the map here. Ouch. Um, one difference you will note, um, well you may have noted, um, here is that leaders in the version uh, version 11.16, leaders have this lovely little star shape underneath them, says they're a leader, and um, uh, auxilla don't have anything at all. Uh, in the previous version, level zero units had sort of a broken circle. I quite like this, although I find it with units like the auxilla that aren't very clearly labelled what team they're actually on, it can be a bit of a problem. Um, but that's really the fault of the person who created the era that didn't label the teams properly more than anything else. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. That was possibly a big mistake. Ouch. Really didn't want that damage. Let's see if we can get Vanio killed, shall we? Ouch. Ouch. He didn't even do that much damage. Ah. Okay, now we're scrambling to stay alive, so... Oh, oh, now they decide to hit with all their shield attacks. Painful. What do we got? What do we got? We're in trouble. That's what we got. We got trouble. Mm. Yeah, that's 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 not good news. That's that's what we call bad news, I think, in the business. Oh. Okay, these legionaries have been incredibly lucky with their shields, and I mean that's why you don't fight them at night time. That's why you find, don't fight them in the daytime because that just might happen. Uh, but we fought them in the daytime and we paid the price, and now we're going to be really struggling to win this level. So let's see if we get Vanier killed. Or fail and kill, that'll that'll end the level as well. Yep, that's how you lose. Okay. Uh, well, that's an excellent place to um, stop, I think, uh, given the time. So I'll upload this, show you that, yes, I have failed at this level, and then I will reload from uh, the beginning of this last turn, and we'll try doing that.